In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some pre-processing on a road network so that contiguous segments of road are joined and individual sections of road start and end at intersections. This process is useful for, for working with any polyline feature, including waterways, where a feature we think of as being one thing in the world has been saved in the GIS as multiple segments that are lined up together. So for instance, this road right here, we've got a segment here and a segment here, and really those are one thing, and we'd like the JS to think of them as one thing, and we'd like to be able to select them as one thing. Performing these steps that I'm about to show you will make it easier to treat roads or rivers as united objects once you get into Illustrator. So the first thing we're going to do here is use a tool called Dissolve in order to unite all the features in the road network into a single piece. So rather than being hundreds of different roads that are put together and are listed in the attribute table here as lots of different roads, we're just going to dissolve this all into one multi-part polyline feature. So to do that, I'm going to come up to the toolbox here. And the toolbox is opened up here. I'm just going to stick it over on the side. And then I'm going to come over to Data Management Tools and Generalization. And there's a tool here called Dissolve. Double click on that. And it'll open up and ask us for input features. Those are going to be our mid roads. So I'll drag that into input features. Our output feature class should be mid roads dissolve. Save. Now, if we wanted to, we could dissolve by a certain field. So, for instance, if there was a field where all of the roads that are the same road contiguously had the same name, then we could dissolve on the name of the road. And there is such a field, but uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I won't show you that way. If we don't select any of the fields, it'll, it'll just turn all of the roads into the same object. And then we can also do the statistics down here if we wanted to, when we join together the roads, for instance, add up uh, their mileage, we, we could ask it to add the mileage in a mileage field together so that we would get combined mileages. We won't worry about that for the time being. And we do want to be able to create multi-part features. So I'll leave that checked because that way all of the roads will become the same feature. So if I hit OK here, it'll work through a little bit. It'll say completed. It's added that dissolved layer to our data frame. And if we right click and say open attribute table, you'll see that there's only one feature here. There's a multi-part polyline that describes all of these roads. So now that we've merged them all together, our next step is to actually just break them back apart again, but this time only break them where there's an intersection of roads. So to do that, we're going to use a tool called feature to line. And another way of getting tools uh, besides the toolbox is to use this search box. So if I open that up and then type in feature to line, press enter, it'll search and you can see that there's a feature to line tool in data management. If I click on that, it should open up the tool. And what this does is it automatically breaks features based on their intersection points. So right now we have one multi-part feature describing all the roads and we'd like lots of road segments at the points where they intersect as in this demonstration right here. So I'm going to take this mid roads dissolve and put that in there. You could use multiple features in here if you wanted to, multiple feature classes, but we only have one at this point. And our output feature class will be mid roads separate. And I'm going to hit OK. So there it's completed its task. And if we go into the attribute table here, you can see that it's now separated all those roads into lots of little parts. And if we were to turn off these other layers, grab our selection tool, and then click in various places on the map, you can see that it's broken up our road network into in individual segments between intersections. So our final step here is going to be to calculate the length of each of these road segments. I'm just going to close our search box and our toolbox so we have some more space. And now come in here to the attribute table for our mid-road separate. To do this, we need to add a field. So I'll come up to this context menu and drop it down and say add field. And this is going to be length. And we'll save it as a float so that it can have some decimal places to it. Click OK. And then if we right click on that length field heading and then go to calculate geometry, it'll say that you're about to do this calculation outside of an edit session. That's perfectly fine. We'll say yes. And we want to calculate the property of this line which is the length you could also calculate things like the x and y coordinates of the start or end point or midpoint but we'll stick with length we'll use the coordinate system that this uh, that this file is already projected in which is state plane uh, that's a, a realistic coordinate system we do to be doing this length calculation in because uh, it's designed to d minimize distortion uh, of distance or direction uh, across the state of Vermont
and we're working at a relatively large scale here so we don't have to worry too much about those distortions and we'll change this to miles just because miles better fit the way that people usually think about distance on roads in this part of the world click OK and here you can see it's calculated up to six decimal places uh, the length in miles of each of those road segments now it's not really all that appropriate for us to be using six decimal places in this case so I'm just gonna right click on that field heading and go to properties and then if I click the ellipses next to this numeric label it'll give me some options for number formatting and I can round the number of decimal places let's say to one so it'll be showing us to the nearest tenth of a mile how long each of those road segments is. 